Hey guys, we get a lot of questions about our custom line builder sheets. Check out this video for some helpful tips. All right guys, we are gonna walk you through our custom line builder sheet for a single line kit with a stiffener. So you're gonna pull up the galferusa.com page and you're gonna click the far left tab where it says products. On the fifth line down is gonna be your custom line builder. Let's click on that. First and foremost, we highly recommend watching our video on how to measure brake lines. It'll make this a little bit easier for you guys. We're gonna scroll all the way down and click the very first picture of a brake line. Once you click that, it'll bring up a PDF file of all the lines, colors, and fittings that we offer for most standard lines. You'll scroll down and review the fittings, see which ones you'll need for your particular application, and as you go through your application, you'll enter your bike information. Let's plug in a Suzuki. We're gonna plug in the general information for our motorcycle, and then after we plug in our information, then we're gonna choose our line style. You've got a drop down menu for that. For example, we're using an 06 RM250. This bike would use a single line front with a stiffener. If you have a Galfer part number, now's the time to use it. For example, if you're lengthening an existing line, this will tell us all of the fittings and hardware that's required to install this complete line. Otherwise, if you're creating a brand new line kit, go ahead and leave that blank. Now, you're gonna scroll down some more, and you'll see all the brake line styles. We've got a single, single with stiffener, dual three line crimped, and a three line. From there, you're gonna come down to line A, B, and C. Since this is a single line with a stiffener, all we are going to do is line A, and here we'll enter our length. To get the overall length of your brake line kit, you're going to wanna to measure from the center of the banjo to the center of the banjo on the opposite end. We really recommend removing your brake lines, laying them out flat, and measuring them from banjo to banjo. If you need some help on this, check out our brake line measuring video. We're going to need fitting number one, so we'll scroll back up and look to determine which fitting will be best for our application. I'm going to choose a D1120, which is a 20 degree fitting. Then. You'll drop down the menu and look for that same part number and plug it in. Now, for the caliper side, we're going to come back up and look at what fittings we will want to use. We'll scroll back up. I'm going to pick a D1140 for the caliper, which is a 12 degree fitting. Then, we're going to pick out our line color. If you're unsure of what colors we have, they're at the top of this page. Don't forget, there is no extra charge for colored lines unless you choose platinum. Platinum will be the only color with an additional charge, and a Galfer USA sales rep can let you know what that would be. So, now we're going to pick our line. Let's go with gold. Then, we're going to pick our fitting colors. You can see the fitting colors at the top of the PDF as well. We'll have gold, silver, red, blue, and black. For this, let's pick a black fitting. Your bolt color will be the same as your fitting color. So we're gonna go with black. Now we're gonna look at the stiffener. A stiffener goes over your brake line so that when your forks compress, your brake line does not flex. On our sheet, stiffener LN stands for stiffener length. Most dirt bikes are gonna need a stiffener length. We're going to plug in 10 inches for our sheet. Now, stiffener PSN stands for stiffener positioning. That measurement will be from the lower caliper banjo fitting to the bottom of the stiffener. We'll plug in 12 inches for that. Heat shrink designates what goes over the crimp caps. At the very top, you'll see here that we've got gold with no heat shrink, we have platinum with no heat shrink, and then we have the colored lines with black heat shrink. Black heat shrink will cover the black switch fitting that'll make it look nice and help keep it clean, but it is not required. If you don't need it, you can just leave this space blank or enter in not needed. 
we're going to plug in black heat shrink for our Suzuki. For our 2006 Suzuki RM250, we'll also have to figure out what kind of bolts we will need for our banjo bolts. There are two common bolt types. A 10 by 1.0 is a fine thread bolt. You typically see these on European bikes. The other common bolt type is a 10 by 125. This is a coarse thread bolt. These are usually on your Japanese bikes. You can find 8A and 8B right here on the sheet. Most Suzukis use an 8A, so that's what we'll pick. We'll plug in 8A times 2. If you believe you're going to need clips or grommets to install your kit, this is where you'll want to plug them in. If you're going to need any type of block, for instance, we have a D127 block and a D0460 block. These are the two most common blocks that we use. If you need one of those, now's the time to enter it. There's a few options, but we're going to go with not needed for now. An olive, which is an olive inverter, will adapt some concave fittings. It's right here, D0430. For this particular bike, we don't use that, so we're just going to leave it alone. Now we're almost done. Here's a chance for you to add any additional info to your order. You can type out any additional notes for our techs and production workers in the box here. You can even draw us a picture of your line kit. Galfer USA custom brake line kits typically take five to seven business days to produce. This here is a rush charge. This does not expedite your shipping. What this does is put your kit in front of other orders to have it built faster. If you're interested in expediting your order, talk with your Galfer USA sales rep. If you're ordering through your shop, be sure to list the shop name here. Don't forget your name, street, city, state, and zip, and that phone number. We also require a signature of approval. And that's it. That's the run through of our custom line sheet. If you have any additional questions, you can contact our sales department at sales at galferusa.com. If you've got any technical questions, send an email to breaklinetech at galferusa.com.